there but to God be all the glory God is faithful and when I just started this program the reason for this the Lord visited me and he said I sense he was saying to me that um, his people they know that he is God but they are losing hope and amongst everything that is happening COVID-19 depression it's just so much coming up not just only on us Christians but and the world at large right so so this program was designed I mean to, to bring hope to bring hope to, to everyone that God the same God that delivered Israel back in those days the same God that parted the Red Sea he is the same God today he never changes he's the same yesterday he's the same today and he is the same forever so what he did then is more than able to do it now so I just want to encourage us to have faith to trust in God. The Word of God says, Faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. So if we have faith and believe, God will come through for us. The Word of God says, When we pray, we should believe, and it will happen. So that's my encouragement for you today. You know, pray, believe, and you shall receive. So on our very first episode, episode one, we have... Well, my spiritual father, my my reverend, Reverend Robert Edwards, and he is here today to speak to us. Um, I mean, guys, so this um, first episode is kind of different. It's kind of shift. It's more informational. And uh, I mean, for what is happening, COVID, so our topic today is, uh, is COVID-19 vaccine the mark of the beast? I, I had that challenge, and I know many of you are watching right now are still having that challenge so i sense in my spirit that this should be my first episode so today we have uh, reverend edwards with us that he's going to address that topic biblically so we're going to pick up those um answers in a biblical point of view and get some answers that we will not be afraid of the vaccine all right so guys so let's welcome back to the Natisha Williams testimony and show a place for your testimony. Hallelujah. <laughs> Reverend Edwards, how are you? I'm well. It's the Lord. I'm, I'm happy to be here and um, especially sharing with you. Yes. Um, I, if you will allow me just to, the opportunity to say congratulations. Thank you. So proud of you. Bless the Lord. Um, the, what God has been doing in your life yes. is, is just remarkable. And I'm just very happy that I can be here yes, to share yes. this moment with you and with your viewers and Thank listeners. You Jesus. Yes, it's, it's a pleasure being here. Thank you, Lord. And it's a, it's a pleasure having you. I know you're, you're a very busy man. And to have you on a day like this like in the week, you know, it's an honor. It's a real honor. I give God thanks. I give God thanks in knowing you. And... Yes, people, this man here, he plays a vital role in my walk as a Christian, especially my, my first years, my, my first Christian journey, the journey in becoming who I am today. Right? You play, you, of course, you would have known, you play a vital role in the person I am today. So I, I, I give God thanks for you. <laughs> All right, I'm so, so I'm so happy and honored that too that you walk with your books, you know. So whatever I'll be speaking about, of course, you have the books here to support what you're going to say. And as you know, people, our, our topic today is, uh, is COVID-19 vaccine the mark of the beast? 
So, Rev, is COVID-19 um, vaccine the mark of the beast? It could not be and cannot be the mark of the beast. First and foremost, what we need to do um, is, to, is for us to understand when the scriptures speak about the mark of yes. the beast, what exactly it's talking about. Now, Revelation is a peculiar book. And over the years, and I know that some of what I'm about to say, some of you will resist it because you, we have been taught this for so such a long time that it, it becomes very difficult for some people to appreciate a new understanding. Yes. But Revelation is a peculiar book. And in order for us to understand it, we need to first of all determine what kind of book it is. Hallelujah. So that when we talk about the mark of the beast, we can understand exactly what we're talking about. So Revelation is both is, is, is a letter, it is a prophecy. And there's a third aspect of Revelation, which is the most critical part now. It is also what is called apocalyptic. Um, now, the word apocalyptic or um, apocalypsis mm -hmm, mm -hmm. is a Greek word meaning to, un meaning to unveil, to remove the veil. Right. And this is a, a particular type of literature. Um, when you're interpreting something, you have to know the kind of literature that you're reading. So, for example, when you took up the newspaper this morning, you don't read the newspaper the same way you would read your fiction. It's a different type of yeah, you different don't read, context. Right. You don't read a poem. Mm -hmm. You don't read a poem the same way you read a regular story. So apocalyptic is a is a peculiar kind of literature that the Hebrews, the Jews use particularly to to, to speak to, to prophesy. And in Revelation, Revelation is is, is an apocalyptic uh, literature. Rev, isn't that the same thing as end time apocalyptic? Is not necessarily okay. because okay. in fact that is what has happened there are persons who have over the years based on what is written in revelation mm -hmm. believe that revelation because it is called it's a prophecy mm -hmm. as well believe that it means to predict prophecy does not does not necessarily means a prediction in fact biblical prophecy don't really have to do with prediction it does have elements of prediction, but the, the main core, the essence of prophecy, is a declaration of God's word to God's people in their particular circumstances. Okay. So it is similar to when you, when your pastor preach, mm -hmm. he is prophesying. He is he is he's using God's word to help the believers to live in this moment, in this time. Understand, to understand, un yes. To understand God's will. What God is saying for that season, for, for a particular time. Amen, right. So that's what prophecy is. So the book, Revelation, is, a, is an epistle written to seven churches. And in the, in the epistle, John is revealing what God has told him to tell the church mm. about what was taking place in their life in the first century. That's very important. If you look at Revelation chapter 1, and why we say that it is not in prediction, it says, God has given to him this prophecy, declaring what is about to happen. Mm. No, what is soon to come to pass. Right for Revelation, that, that, is, that, that statement is there. In chapter 22, you see there, these are things that will soon come to pass. Mm -hmm. So it means that what was written in Revelation was meant for those seven churches at that time dealing with the issues of the first century. Now, the church at the time was a part of the Roman Empire, um, existed in the, Rome, in, in the time of the Roman Empire and the, the rule of the Caesars. Mm -hmm. One of the critical things when we talk about the mark of the beast yes. is that it's... Uh, Apocalyptic language is very symbolic, so that's why people are scared of, of the book of Revelation. Really, people get scared of it. Right, so right, because of the, the graphics. The, the graphics, yes. the, the, the fantastical mm -hmm. pictures and images and so on. But guess what? The people of the first century understood it, you know. They, they never necessarily have the same kind of reaction that we have today. Because as I said to you, it is that kind of language that was used by prophets to reveal God's word to the people at the time. Mm -hmm. And it was also kind of a coded language. 
so that the, the those who oppose the Christian may not necessarily understand mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. the Christians would understand. Understand the code, right? right? Right. So when 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 it was written, it written to these churches, it was at the time when the Roman Empire demanded that its citizens all over the world, remember Rome was this powerful nation that ruled the whole world, all its citizens were to worship the emperor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So at the time there was emperor worship. Not only were they to, to worship the emperor, but they had what is called a pantheon of gods. And, and there were many temples that were erected and the people were asked to worship these idols in addition to the Caesars themselves. So you have the Nebuchadnezzar, like when you see that temple, and, ah, I'm that glad, idol. I'm glad you mentioned Nebuchadnezzar because in Revelation, one of the description of Rome and the beast is called Babylon. Right, and that would have been in the book of Daniel. No? Daniel, yes, exactly. Book, right? Yes, because the, the, the term beast mm-hmm. is used as a description for the empire, these empires who were anti-God and who took on God-like qualities. They did what they claimed to be the rulers of the world. So you must worship them. Worship them. Or else you know, they're just like the three Hebrew boys. Exactly. So so that in in Revelation you will notice that a number of what the declaration, that the titles of Jesus was King of Kings yes. and Lord of Lords. You you all yes, yes. What, what is what is it declaring? One of the messages of Revelation is to say to the Christians of the seven churches in Asia Minor, the seven churches that were there, that the, the, the book was written to mm-hmm. a specific set of people. It was yes. written for the 21st century. It was written to that group. The seven churches, you, can, you know them, Ephesus, Thyatira, Pergamon, yeah. um, Sardis, Philadelphia. Philadelphia, all of them. These are churches, and those areas still exist today in, in Western Turkey, but at the time it was called um, Asia Minor. Right, right, right. So that era, those eras. Um, so yes, as I was saying, the empire ruled the world, and they had empire worship. And um, in fact, there are there are um, archaeological finds which shows coins mm-hmm. with the emperor on the front of the coin, and mm-hmm. at the back you have what is um, what, what the, the, the the goddess Roma. The goddess Roma is the personal representation of the empire. Okay. So the, what? How does um, John in the prophecy of Revelation describe Rome? Rome is described as the war. Oh. Female, oh. Who okay. Prostituted yes. Self. Okay. Right. 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 And it is a. It is. It is a. It is an empire mm-hmm. um, that this. In Revelation again, it's full of blasphemies. Yeah, because it said, I think it's, it's Re- Revelation 13. Revelation 13 yes. is where, um, well, not, not where to speak of the, the mm-hmm. war, but Revelation 13 is where it talks about the beast coming out of the. Yeah, the great, the great blasphemy. Right. So the term beast, if you go to Daniel, you will see that the various empires in the past, mm-hmm. such as you had Assyria, yes. then you had Babylon. And then after Babylon, you had Medo Persia, mm-hmm. and after Medo Persia, you had Greece. And they are different, I think those are different animals that Diff- represent them. They represent them. So, this symbol is part of apocalyptic language to describe these ancient powers who set themselves up against God and who claim to mm-hmm. be deity. They claim to be God to rule the world, and everybody must subjugate themselves to them and literally worship them. There were temples set up. For that purpose right right and right. their statues were set up and people had to participate no christians of course we only have one king only one king one king so when you read revelation as john was writing to the churches that was the struggle that was the tension that was developing developing in the time where people at the time were under severe persecution because christianity was an illegal religion in the Roman Empire. Yes. It was illegal to be a Christian. And so therefore, because of the Roman worship mm-hmm. and the empire worship, you couldn't, once you were found out, mm-hmm. you would be punished. So you wouldn't be able to buy, as the scripture says. Right. Say, you wouldn't be able to do business. The only way you are able to do all of these things is if you are willing mm-hmm. to conform 
to the okay, to, to their principle, to their yes. gods and so forth. To the, right. You right. Have, you have to right. You have to worship their mm -hmm. gods mm -hmm. and worship the emperor. So what John was doing when he I, when he talks about the beast, he was talking about the Roman Empire. And of course, if you have an empire, then there must be an emperor, the ruler, the one who oversees everything. So Ref, all the point. This is just this is just so powerful. And you are watching the Natisha Williams testimony and show a place where we testify about the awesome power and goodness of Almighty God. And on today's show, we have our guest is no other than Robert Edwards, Reverend Robert Edwards. Easier addressing the topic is COVID nineteen vaccine, the mark of the beast. Be right back. Pure sophistication, pure gorgeousness, pure fabulosity. At FHL Designs, we don't do regular. We give you the best. Shop with us online at www.fhldesignsja.com. Like us on Instagram and Facebook at FHL Designs JA. Call or WhatsApp us at 876 289 5877. Guys, welcome back to the Natisha Williams Testimony. Show a place for your testimony. Hallelujah. <laughs> Why? This, I guess, this is setting the foundation to get into what we need to, we're going to get into um, later, but this is just powerful. This is really powerful. Continue. Yes. So as I was explaining um, about the, 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 emp the empire and the emperor, in Revelation 30, John describes um, the, the, the beast, which is the, which is the empire, that mm -hmm. is, the, that is in, um, Rome, and its rule over the world, its, its claim to be God mm -hmm. over all the world. And of course, over that empire, is the emperor and then okay so basically you're speaking about a male and a female like a god and a goddess right so okay. the empire is the goddess yeah. right right and it's and it's referred to as roma mm -hmm. the goddess the goddess roma yes right and the emperor are the, the caesars mm -hmm. who ruled um rome in the first century and, mm -hmm. and, and, and onwards right so in revelation 13 however as John is going through the vision, and one of the things about Revelation that you need to understand, what God, what God was saying to the church at the time through John is giving the Christian a background um, view of history. He was helping them to understand that what they see in the natural was not all that it come up to be. Mm -hmm. Because the person who is really behind everything is the true God and ruler of the earth hallelujah so yes. you will notice that in revelation john is on this vision and, and his trip and is being taken and he enters the throne room mm -hmm. and he sees and he hears yes. all these declarations and statements of god and he sees the worship of god god is showing who is supreme in the earth so although the this empire and these emperors mm. are ascribing to themselves all of this paul god is saying to the Christians, I am abs I am the one who is yes. absolutely. So therefore, don't be distracted don't because I am the true and living God. Absolutely. Hallelujah. So that's why often in the, the, the book of Revelation is a book not to scare people. In fact, it is here to come to encourage and to give strength to the people to remain faithful. Amen. Hallelujah. To remain yes. faithful because yes. God is in charge of what you see happening. Hallelujah. So yes, so he's describing this beast. And then he goes on to speak to the fact that this beast is not just the empire, but a person or persons. Mm -hmm, but in mm -hmm. this instance, yes. he identify a singular person. Yes. And he says that the name of the person mm -hmm. is 666. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. That name, yes. one, of the, one of the practices of the ancient Hebrews is mm -hmm. that they ascribe numbers to the letters yes. in the alphabet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we have a, the English alphabet is 26. So A would, would, uh, would be equivalent to 1, B, 2, C, 3 kind of thing. In the Hebrew alphabet is similar. So the 666, when deciphered, when, that's why it says calculate me, when deciphered, actually comes out to be the Hebrew name Caesar Nero. 
which is well, an emperor, the fifth emperor yes. of the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. was was Nero. If any of you have a chance and you can search Nero, he was the most cruel, wicked emperor there was. He was the one who started um, persecution against the Christian like no other. There were others. Yes. But for a short period, he instituted some persecution against Christians that were, I mean, beyond imagination. Wow. Things like he, there's a report of him using Christians as torch. He, he light them a fire mm. and use the light from them while he rides his chariot in his, in his, in his, his yard. That's wow. how wicked he was. Um, this is a crazy man. Mm -hmm. but, the, but the number 666 actually spells out his name in the Hebrew language. Caesar Nero. And he was the fifth um, mm -hmm. emperor of Rome. So in, 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 in um, Revelation, the 666 actually identify the, mark, the, mark, the person who is the mark, who, who is credited, not credited, who is ascribed as the beast. Now the mark now, please don't look for a literal mark in your forehead or on your right hand. Actually, the whole concept of the mark has to do with people's allegiance to a particular um, belief system or worship culture as the people of the empire do. Mm -hmm. they, remember the forehead is a, is a symbol of your mind. Right. The right hand is a symbol of activities, what you do. So put together, in the Hebrew, for example, Deuteronomy chapter 6, it talks about you know, that they should bind the law of God in their minds Mind, yes. and up on the right hand up there. And they literally did that. They would put the law in little boxes um, called um, phylacteries and they, mm -hmm. they would these little boxes that they have the law. So basically what you're saying, Rob, so the mark of the beast would not be. And so literally. we maybe we're looking to say, oh, you know, you're going to go any further, you're going to go in hand. It won't, be a, so I'm saying, it won't be easily recognized. It won't, it won't not, not going to be something that we're easily going to recognize. I'm, I'm, I'm suggesting that it has already happened. That right. What Revelation was not meant for us to be predicting anything in the far future. Mm -hmm. Let me explain why. And, and for those of you, I know some of you must be pulling out your hear hearing this. Yeah. <laughs> but think about it. All the years that you have heard about end times and the mark of the beast. When I, when I was growing up and, and I was used to be scared of Revelation and so on, I used to hear, first of all, that when the European Union was, Union. Just, was 10 nations, they said, yes, that's the, that's the Holy Roman Empire, that's the mark of the beast. The Pope was called the mark of the beast. Are the beast mm -hmm. and one in one denomination they may, I don't know if they still teach it but they used to teach that worshiping on a Sunday is the mark of the beast Wow okay please I've never heard that oh yes I, I, I the, you know there's a denomination I don't want to call yeah them, right that's fine um yes the, and they talk about a Sunday law that is going to be established so that you know you, you can buy and sell mm -hmm, mm -hmm. unless you you worship on a particular day okay right. so they said that was the mark of the beast when i in the 90s going towards 2000 when computer was just becoming very popular people believed that it was the mark of the beast so oh, how many of you remember y2k oh yes you remember? i remember when 2000 yeah, i remember that so basically right so so i guess the mark of the beast would also be associated with um buying and selling as in the book of revelation but even the same um, covid vaccine no right they're saying no if you don't take the vaccine mm -hmm. then you won't be able to travel it's going to be mandatory you won't be able to right. here's, the, here's the difference the mark of the beast is established and, and set up to against the church against christians mm -hmm. in the first century in the first century christian were, were actually um, tried, they were asked to come and read what like the word is recant to deny their faith, deny Jesus. Mm. They had to make a statement Anathema Christos. What is Anathema Christmas? It says Christos, Christ be damned. That mm -hmm. was the right, right, they, right. they have to confess that, and when they confess it, they would drink wine and they would worship an idol, and as a result of that, they would be freed. If you didn't do that, if you didn't re renounce Christ in that way, mm -hmm. then you would be killed. Wow. So that when you read Revelation, that's exactly mm -hmm. what it says. Mm -hmm. So so the whole idea of the mark is really an acceptance of a way of life that is uh, that is anti-Christ, that is anti-God. Mm -hmm. It is not a physical mark. Nobody is going to put a mark on you. Neither 
it, it didn't happen in the first century. Right. And it's not going to happen. So it's, it's a way of choice. So you have to choose whether you're going to renounce the name of your Jesus. God, who is the King of all kings, right. and the Lord of all lords, and whether you're going to worship Allah, or are you going to just decide, say, okay, this new God that is going to come, mm -hmm. or whatever it is now, this new right. law, this new religion. I mean, it's up to me to accept it. Yeah. Or, or, or not accept it, you know, and then the old come after old be either that or you do whatever. Or punishment. Or put, right. Because that was what was happening in the first century, mm -hmm. where if you did not accept the, you did not accept to go and worship the Caesar and the various gods of the Roman Empire, mm -hmm. you were ostracized, you were punished, right? That was what was happening. Right. As a result, so that is what um, John was describing. Not for us in the future to see um, based on the chip. It is against Christians. So I ask you, the vaccine, is it specifically towards Christians or is it the whole world that is taking the vaccine? The whole world is taking the vaccine. The whole world is taking the vaccine. That's true. It is not set up specifically against Christians. It is not set up specifically against any oh, race. Oh, so what the point, Rev? What if, that's very important. So, so basically, so what, but I'm, because I'm trying to understand too, as you're as you're teaching us. Yeah. Um, so you're saying basically, the mark of the beast would be designed against the Christians. Christians. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But so I'm learning too. It is against Christians. Remember, you know, in the first century, go back to Revelation, where mm -hmm. all of this comes from. John is writing to the same churches. It is what they are experiencing. Mm -hmm. And as one, one, one scholar says, Revelation is not about prediction. Revelation actually interprets the time in which the people lived. Mm -hmm. And help them. So it becomes relevant. Right to them. Right. In their context. But it can also, it's relevant to us today now, but not in the way that we tend to literally um, try to. Uh, apply interpret it. right 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 so it is relevant and you know as somebody uh, another writer says it is an analogy so when today there are um government or institutions mm -hmm. that are set up in ways similar to what used to happen in the first century right we as christian has have to have to counter that we have to protest against that because those are things that are against god himself Mm -hmm. Which come coming back to the vaccine now, and Christians, and that I don't understand how we come to see something a remedy, a medical remedy, proven over many 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 years, many many years, that this remedy all of a sudden mm -hmm. has become something um, of the nature of what we are describing here as the mark of the but you know what I, you, you know why you. why i even think that right but you, you just said something well that is just so powerful that has brought some light even to me because as i didn't i didn't even know i mean i read my bible i'm careful i i would assume and i didn't even know that the mark of the beast was designed to destroy just christian no in what's what you said in just that one thing i said well i realized no that the vaccine ends could not be the mark of the beast no. because the, as I said, everybody, the whole world, the whole world is taking the vaccine because we want this world to get back to us to a safer uh, no, place. No, no, right. Yeah, you understand? So yes. it could not be the mark of the beast, but no. continue, Rev. This is no. powerful. No, because as I, as I said to you, in the first century, Christianity was an illegal religion because the religion of the state was the one that all citizens, the only other nation that were, was allowed to worship their God was the Jews. Mm -hmm. Okay. Judaism was allowed and it was mm -hmm. an illegal religion. In the Roman Empire, outside of that, mm -hmm. no other person. So it was really against Christians that the mark of the beast yes. was established to, to 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 force them, if they would, to conform to the worship of the empire and of the emperor. Right, right, ones. right. So today, the the the, the, um, the vaccine, vaccine has nothing to do with um, an empire. First of all, all our nations are independent nations yes. and, and everybody have different um, political systems. We live in democracies. In the time of the first century, you have author an authoritarian system where you have the emperor who have absolute power. Mm -hmm. That is not the case today. And as we are saying, no. the, the, the remedy of the vaccine was developed by 
scientists all over the world collaborating. Yes, it's not yes. just one group of person. Every from China to Russia to America to Europe, everywhere they collaborated in making the vaccine. I don't know how it come to be associated with uh, this 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 concept of, of in the Bible. You have to mark up um, the beast. And, I, and again, I think it's because, as I said, that we were taught that Revelation is predicting the far future, but it wasn't. Revelation, the book, it was a letter, by the way, as I said, and the, and the prophecy in the letter, written in a special language called mm -hmm. apocalyptic, which is a very symbolic language. And so in order for us to understand, you first need to understand um, apocalyptic language. Um, and there are many other literatures mm -hmm. outside of Revelation um, with the Hebrews that are apocalyptic. Right. So, in, and, and I want to drum down on that because if you don't get that, you will continue to think of the future of these things coming. But remember, as I just showed you, that there was a time when it was the European Union, there was a time when it said the Pope was the, mar mm -hmm, was the beast. Mm -hmm. There was a time, they, when it, some people still believe that the, the, Catholic, the Roman Catholic Church, people believe, mm -hmm. is the beast. Yes. Right? People believe some worship is the beast. What is it? What is it? People believe that there's a chip that you put in your hand and that, that is the mark of the beast. Sorry, will there be time? Try to understand. Still. Yes. Will there be a time when the mark of the beast will be revealed? When uh, uh, what are you saying? No, I'm that's what I'm I'm saying to you mm -hmm. that the revelation, what you are looking for, mm -hmm. has already occurred. Okay. What we're looking for with this mark of the beast, right, has already occurred. The, what we should do from revelation is having learned about that now. How does that apply to us today in the twenty first century? And as I was sharing. What the what point, Rev? What the point? What point? <laughs> you are watching the Natisha Williams testimonial show, a place where we testify about the awesome power and goodness of Almighty God. And on today's show, we have our guest is no other than Robert Edwards. Reverend Robert Edwards, easier addressing the topic is COVID 19 vaccine, the mark of the beast. Be right back. Pure sophistication, pure gorgeousness. Pure fabulosity. At FHL Designs, we don't do regular. We give you the best. Shop with us online at www.fhldesignsja.com. Like us on Instagram and Facebook at FHL Designs JA. Call or WhatsApp us at 876 289 5877. Guys, welcome back to the Natisha Williams Testimonial Show, a place for your testimony. Hallelujah. <laughs> this topic, I, I can't do now one or two or three interview. <laughs> this is so wide. It's a very broad topic, you, you know, especially talk about the biblical part of it. Because what I'm hearing from you in all of this, it's simple. It's telling me that, and us too, that the Bible must be read in its proper context. Absolutely. Because that's what I believe messes up a lot of Christians. We read the Bible, and from what I learned from my theological study, is that you must find out who God was speaking to at this particular time, why was it relevant, or whatever. So, basically, what, what I'm getting from this yes. is that in the book of Revelation, many of us, including myself, read it uh, in a mist. I mean, read it and take it out of context. Completely, completely. Yeah, you, you know. So this is just, this is just. I mean, this I have many, many more questions, but of course, it will not. I'm gonna skip over them. So we're just let us just get into the vaccine yes. and and COVID. You know what I mean? Um. Yes. So the COVID nineteen um vaccine and why it is so important for us to take it and why Christians are so afraid to take it. Well, the Christians are afraid to take it. <laughs> I think based on the misinformation, yes. and the misinterpretation that we're just talking about of revelation, yes. feeling that if they do that, they would be taking the mark of the beast. But I would ask any one of them, any Christian, now, after you take it, um, is the government going to? Um, are you going to be condemned by God, and, and you you no longer are is a believer, um, or if you don't take it, is, does the government um, throw you in prison? I don't know about that. Anyway. Uh, and the mark of the beast would be associated with, with, with that with literal death. Um, people lost their lives. When you read Revelation, they hear about the saints who were under the altar, who were martyred because they were unwilling 
mm-hmm. to conform to what the the, 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 em, the empire was pushing on them, yes. Right, to worship the empire and to worship the, the, the emperors mm-hmm. and their gods. They, they died because of that. Nobody, as a result of, of um, the vaccine. vaccine, has experienced any of that, whether they take it or not. So it cannot be that. But I want to say to Christians, you know, it's amazing that God has been so gracious. When this thing broke, many of us went on fasting and we had ball outs and we prayed and we begged God to intervene. God has intervened Hallelujah. by giving yes. mankind the ingenuity to develop this remedy, this medical remedy to help us to get back to some That's powerful, Rev. You know, Rev, I don't mean to cut it, but it's just so powerful. You have, you, you have said something just now that just finish everything. But well, you have said, when COVID just started, the Christians, us, we bow out to God. We cry out to God and we say, God, help us. God, let this thing Thank go you. away. God, and God, it's a give man wisdom and, and in all their whatever, their knowledge and whatever. Come with the vaccine so that it's basically God this having mercy. Good. I mean, I mean, by, by virtue of us crying out to him, no, this is God's way now of bringing us. Bringing the answer. The, the cure, bringing the answer. Yeah. Continue, Rev. Um, you know, <laughs> The scripture, there's a scripture that we need to take notice of in Psalm 95 and one that Jesus quoted to the devil when mm-hmm. he was tempted. It says, do not put the Lord to the test. Hallelujah. What did Satan say to Jesus? He took him up on the Jerusalem temple and said, throw yourself off. Because yes. the scripture said, God will give you to Jesus charge over mm-hmm. him. And Jesus mm-hmm. says, do not put the Lord to the test. That quotation comes from... Exodus 17, when the people, after God delivered them mm-hmm. from Egypt, began to grumble um, about when they couldn't get water. Oh, murmur, yes, yes, yes. Mm-hmm. That's the place. Mm-hmm. They began to grumble and complain against God and say, where is God? You know, you look like he take us out of Egypt to kill us. Yes. And Moses was, you know, Moses was so upset and he went to God about it. And the scripture says, Moses said, why are you testing the Lord? Why are you putting the Lord to the test? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That concept of testing the Lord is where God's people, after God has revealed himself and provided for you, you turn your back yes. in complaint mm-hmm. against the one who has provided for you and who is faithful. Yes. You quest- you're literally questioning God's Faithfulness, that's what they did. Yes. And if Jesus had followed Satan's um, request to jump off, he would have died, broke his neck. Mm-hmm. Because that's not the that's not the reason yes. for that text. Yes. And so I say to Christians, why do you even go to the doctor then? If God is your according to some of you, your vaccine, why do you go to the doctor? Yes. Why do you put an alarm on your car? Why do you lock up your house at night? Why do we put so much grill around the house? God is, isn't God your protection? Okay, so God is going to protect you. Why don't we just stand in the middle of the road and, and, and make a car hit us? Or when God is going to protect you. I'm saying to us that God in his wisdom has given to humanity. Yes. And, and, and I want to ground this as well in the Genesis account. Because the scripture says, when God was making man, he says, let us make man in our own image and likeness and let them rule over mm. the fishes of the sea, the, 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 the beasts of the field, and the birds of the air, over the land. God gave humanity that authority. That opinion, yes. What, in that statement, the image of God there is not just, it's not a physical image, it's not eye and nose and hand and all that sort of thing, because God is not physical, God is spirit. Yes. But if the, the image there is a moral, is a moral and spiritual likeness of God. And secondly, the image has to do with some of the attributes of God. God is creator, so God make man to be able to create. Yes, yes, yes. God is a ruler. Mm-hmm. God make man to rule. Because we're made in his likeness and in his, his image. image. So we have the same attributes. Mm-hmm. The attributes of yes, God yes, to rule. Yes. So God has delegated to humanity the authority to run the earth. Ah. And part of that is how we exploit the earth in terms of making things for our benefit, for our happiness, yes. for our convenience. Today, that is why you have a phone. Those of you who are against the vaccine, stop using your phone because it is technology. And some people are, and, and, and I'm, I'm trying to say this as lovingly as possible. <clears throat> some people are against the vaccine because they claim that it's too quick. 
You know, you need to do your Yes, research. thank you, thank you. Thank you for bringing that up, yes. But they need to do their research. Corona is not a new virus. COVID-19 is a strain of coronavirus. There were other coronavirus before. You had one called SARS, mm. which is severe acute respiratory syndrome. There's another one called MERS, um, Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome. All these were coronaviruses that they were they were pandemic, not not pandemic, epidemic. Yes, 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 yes. The different pandemic is the whole world. Epidemic is region. Themselves. Yes. So they were epidemic, and after those came out, scientists started making a vaccine for them. Started making vaccine for those um, those viruses, the SARS and the MERS. When COVID break, which is COVID, is a different strain, mm -hmm. right? A different. Um, that's why it's called COVID nineteen. The 19 is identifying the year that it started. That, it that was discovered. I figured that much. Yes. Yes. So it is coronavirus um, 19. Um, the year 19. Yes. 19. Right. So I um, I'm saying to us the the the, 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 the thing was already there already. When it broke, all they did was to tweak the genetic um, mm -hmm. because they, they the Chinese they did what is called the g genetic coding. Of the virus and, and scientists share all of that information all over the world and different labs um places like in massachusetts in oxford university and other places begun the the, 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 the task of making the vaccine to deal with this very very serious mm -hmm, virus mm -hmm. so and and this va this vaccine is maybe the most transparent in terms of the process than any other vaccine that you know because many of us put things in our body and we don't know, have a clue. We don't know what is in there. And we never question it. And I'm saying this one, you can check any of the major scientific centers, you know, the Harvards and the Oxfords and, yes. and all of these places. Anybody can, plus the, regulator, the, the regulators, both local and international. So you have the CDC, the FDA in America, you have WHO World Health Organization, you have PAHO, which is part of our region. Yes. Well. All of them were involved in monitoring and ensuring that the process. As I said, because as I said, it is the world. It's the world. It is not, as I said, it is, it is not a part of the world. This affects the whole mm -hmm. world. Rev, listen, uh, this is just so powerful. I've learned in this just short discourse, I've learned so much why COVID-19 vaccine could not possibly be the mark of the beast. And you know, I feel so confident because I know for sure that those who were even afraid and didn't want to go take the vaccine, I'm sure after this information is been released, they are gonna feel even much more comfortable, especially Christians, mm. you know, to go and be vaccinated because I'm sure it's information, I believe it liberates you. Yes, knowledge. Knowledge, knowledge is power. When you get yeah. knowledge, you feel free, that freedom enters it into is, your system. It is, it is. You know it is. what I mean? So it's just, this is just so powerful. I just wanted you to, know, encourage even those christians those who are not even christians yes. i mean i know there are a few side effects so this is i touch us on a few of the side effects yeah but that's that's normal for any vaccine or any medicine there, there are no medicine that does not have side effects none and 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 the, even the vaccine makers never claim that they are a hundred percent effective they say they are 90 or are right. 80. 80 85. If you look at the lysol bottle there it says that it kills virus 99.9. .9. It never <laughs> said 100%. <laughs> you understand? That's God's job. There's no, <laughs> exactly, no perfect anything. There's always, but I want to say this, especially to my Christian brothers and sisters. God, the scripture says that love, we must love one another. Mm -hmm. And it says the ultimate expression of our faith is to love God and love our neighbor as ourselves. As ourselves. In a pandemic, we must learn to love one another in the sense that I don't want to hurt you by my being irresponsible. Yes. When there is a remedy, a safe remedy, that can allow me to help my, my, my fellow neighbor to be better, to be to, um for, for this back to this well, virus, yes. for this pandemic to go away or to be completely um, um reduced. So this this in, in, in Corinthians thirteen Paul says love does not rejoice in evil but rejoice in truth. That's right. Love always protects. Yes. Why do I mention that? 
Let's stop listening to the lies. It rejoices in truth. It's conspiracy theories. Get the source. Yes. If I if I have a heart problem, I'm not going to go to my mechanic. And if if my car goes bad, I'm not going to take my car to the cardiologist. So please don't listen to people who don't know what they are saying. Find out from the real source. Love rejoices in truth. And it says love always protects. Yes. For those of you, again, I'll give you a couple of scriptures. Go and read Leviticus 13, how the Jews, when they were in the desert, the instruction that God gave them about when they had disease, what they were to do. Everything that you see we are doing now, the isolation, mm -hmm. um, the quarantine. In the time of Jesus, the people were lepers. They are leprosy colonies because they couldn't be in a normal population. And when they were mm -hmm. walking, they had to say, unclean, unclean, unclean. Okay. <laughs> so that people would know that they, yes. they were, they were um, leprosy, yes. And right. We are doing, we are doing, those are primitive things, but today we are just doing it in a more modern way by mm -hmm. saying wear a mask, yes. social distance, and, and sanitize, and quarantine, and take your vaccine. Nothing is wrong with vaccine. I think as Christians, we should be celebrating the Lord and praising Him for providing... For His mercy. For, for His mercy, yes. for His grace in providing humanity with the genius yes. to do what they have done so that we can have that remedy today. So, my brothers and sisters, with much love, please, do the right thing. Love your neighbor as yourself. Take the vaccine because in this way, we protect Hallelujah. Oh my gosh. There you have it, guys. This is just a, a, a teaser, icebreaker. <laughs> but I mean, I am enlightened. I, I have not taken my vaccine yet, but I can tell you, I can tell you that Tuesday, or even tomorrow, or even tomorrow, I'll be doing my vaccine because I mean, I've gotten information that I, that I needed personally, and I felt free in my spirit. I felt as if I'm illuminated. Right, and that's what, that's what knowledge does. It illuminates you. It gives you light. You know what I mean? So I'm so grateful for I mean, for Reverend Edwards and coming here and, and, and sharing his knowledge with us about the vaccine. It can, guys, it cannot. We have heard. You can do your own research. It is not, it, and it cannot be the mark of the beast. So those who... I mean, the, the traditional Christian who I say, oh, me, me not take no vaccine. Oh, I said, the mark of the beast, whatever it is. As Rev. Brad said, when G2K came in, listen, when when even phone with a chip came in, when so many 5G. things, 5G, they were saying it was a mark of the beast. Listen now, brothers and sisters. Go, I, I know, I know somewhat, I will be bashed somewhat, I mean, about this, but I have to do the right thing. I am a woman of God. And this is a show that celebrates God's goodness. This is a show that testifies about the awesome power of God. So God will not allow us to come here and give the false news. All right, so guys, if the vaccine is safe, the vaccine is safe and it's because of love. When you love someone, you get knowledge. You cannot keep it to yourself. Just like salvation, God save you. Hello, you want to tell the whole world. So listen, I, I, I found a man. Come and see this man named Jesus. All right, so guys, we give you our thanks. Thank you for sticking with us. This, as I said, this is season three, episode one. We give God so much thanks for our sponsors. Yes, we had some sponsors on for this season, and without them, we couldn't have done it. So we give God thanks for Audrey E. Funeral Supplies. We give God thanks for them there at Mapen. Right? We give God thanks for Sean Electricals. They are on um instagram and facebook i'm gonna be I'm putting their information at the bottom of the screen so i can look out for that of course fhl designs we bless god for them they're always on board with us and uh, yeah we give god thanks we give god uh, thanks as well for tash especially or makeup artists we give god thanks or and everybody you we give god thanks for you thank you for supporting us thank you for believing in the vision thank you for believing in what god is doing in this season so as we encourage you encourage somebody else so, God bless you. See you next week.